I repeat, we will pursue aggressively the digitization of all government services and digitization of all government records. So this is my handover report. As you know, there is more volumes upstairs. <laughs> but this is just uh, a reflection. So, yes. Karibu sana. Thank you. Here you go. Thank you. Uh, and then... Good morning, outgoing CS Joe Mucheru, Madam Maureen Baka, Ms. Nadia Muhammad, PS Jeremy Cheng, Madam Esther Koimet, PS Broadcasting and Telecommunications, all CEOs and MDAs and directors of various state agencies who are here, senior ministry staff, members of the fourth estate, distinguished guests, ladies, and gentlemen. Good morning once more. Good morning. Allow me to begin by thanking you all for finding time to join me as I assume office as the Cabinet Secretary for Information, Communication Technology, and the Digital Economy. Let me also take this opportunity to sincerely thank His Excellency the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samoy Rito, for appointing me to serve Kenyans as the Cabinet Secretary in this ministry. This is a significant moment for me, for the ministry, and for our beloved country. We have just embarked on a journey to transform Kenya while leveraging on technology and telecommunication infrastructure and capabilities. We want to make Kenya an empowered digital society with high standards of living for our people in line with the mandate of this ministry. I wish to sincerely thank my predecessor, Joe Muchero, for steering this ministry to where it is today. I've listened to you keenly. I load your efforts and input thus far. I look forward to leading in pushing to the next level the visionary agenda of making Kenya prosperous, empowered, and digital society. Let me also thank the staff of the ministry with whom Joas worked and the PSS and those from the SAGAS within the ministry for your outstanding service through this great ministry and the semi-autonomous agencies. You have worked well. You have given this ministry the visibility, the good name, and the desired reputation. I look forward to building on the good reputation to accelerate the tempo of our effort and output to the next level. I'm arriving family focused on an empowered digital Kenyan society. That is the vision that I would wish to work with all of you to achieve, an empowered digital Kenyan society. I've come to lead in facilitating Kenya's economic transformation by leveraging upon ICT for competitiveness and sustainable development. I invite all of you to join hands with me in the pursuit of this noble agenda for the good of our beloved country. As we all know, there is work to be done, and indeed a lot of work. As His Excellency the President has reminded all of us already, we are all going to be measured based on our tangible and visible performance at all levels. Clear expected outputs, clear output indicators, clear responsibility centers, and clear targets. Kenyans are watching and waiting. I have no doubt that we are all more than ready for this and indeed equal to the task. I will support each and every one of you 
with all my capacity as we pull together on this very, very important mission. The Kenya Kwanzaa dream of our country through the role of this ministry is noble and a valid dream. It is a dream about a paperless society driven by modern information and communication technology. It is about a modern society that leverages on technology for both job creation and generation of wealth, or wealth creation for that matter. We have been charged with the responsibility to play the leading role in this pursuit. We are expected to realize the technological dream, not just for the ministry, but the country at large, to make us realize for all the rest of the sectors of the country by providing affordable, efficient tools, systems, plus an enabling regulatory environment, and of course, aug augmented by the requisite uh, policies and legal framework. Together, we can steer the Kenyan nation to achieve this noble dream, ladies and gentlemen. His Excellency the President has promised Kenyans that he will pursue a bottom-up transformational agenda. Once he makes that pro proclamation, all of us have to align. Through the digital information and communication component, we in this ministry are expected to be the engine of this transformational agenda. We are expected to lead by providing the information and communication technology and also by gathering, processing, and disseminating appropriate and timely information that will enable and speed up the development process. We are crucial to the implementation of the promises that the Kenya Kwanzaa government has made to the nation. We have an integral role to play, and we have got no alternative but to deliver on this integral functional mandate. I take cognizance of the heavy investment that this country has made in the ICT infrastructure and mobile telephone penetration. Because of this, and because of your effort, as I have said, Kenya has made tremendous gains. We are leaders in the East Africa region and indeed in the rest of Africa as far as technology is concerned. Our innovative and creative abilities are amazing, and especially those of our creative youth. We can leverage on our gains to become global leaders in ICT and in the digital economy. The ministry will continue to support the gallant efforts by Kenyans out there. We will provide an enabling environment that bedrocks technology-based talent development and job creation. We will seek to be leaders in software development <coughs> and in the creative economy. Equally, we will facilitate and nurture other ICT innovations that will place the ICT and broadcasting sectors at the heart of both job creation and generation of wealth. To this end, I will, working with all of you within the ministry and the sagas, fast track the finalization of developing critical policies which are now in the process of formulation. These policies, and of course, plus the relevant uh, support legislation, will enable the ministry to optimally deliver its mandate to Kenyans. We will therefore push for, push for legislation in those subsectors and sagas in which we have so far operated only on the basis of gazette notices. As a key mandate, this ministry is going to prioritize the digitization of government services and digitization of all government records. I repeat, we will pursue aggressively the digitization of all government services and digitization of all government records. This is crucial for an efficient, paperless society that is also user-friendly. Elsewhere, we are going to facilitate a structured framework for government communication by putting in place a contact center for the public. We want a portal through which the public 
can not just lie us with the ministry, but also raise their concerns across the entire government infrastructure. His Excellency the President envisages an open government that holds conversations with all its citizens and indeed all stakeholders. As he said yesterday, we have nothing to hide as government. We are therefore going to create an efficient and tenuous platform for ongoing conversations with the people of Kenya, regardless of where they may be in the world. Related to this, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to strengthen institutions that have hitherto been rather slow, while others have been clearly, of course, laid back under this ministry. The Kenya Broadcasting Corporation, the Kenya News Agency, Telecom, and the Postal Corporation of Kenya are cases in point. We are going to thoroughly shake up the Kenya Broadcasting Corporation by way of re-engineering and rejuvenating it and breathe fresh life in it. The national broadcaster must step up to the plate. It must punch at its right weight in the marketplace. Its revitalization is therefore not just imperative, but a matter of priority that we intend to embark on almost immediately. Equally, the Kenyan news agency will be revamped and energized. It must play its expected lead role in government communications, both at the national level and within the counties. KNA should also become a reliable and trusted leader in the gathering, packaging, and dissemination of information for media outlets in the country and beyond. Ladies and gentlemen, I intend to spend a significant portion of the coming days in engaging stakeholders in the sector in a bid to understand the emerging issues and any other matters either related thereto or arising therefrom. I want us together to appreciate the needs as a curtain raiser to the right climate and solutions. We will bring the searchlight to bear on relevant governance issues that need to be addressed through policies and attendant legal frameworks. But we will also identify and isolate specific hopes and impediments and the required interventions, and of course, augmented by an elaborate risk mitigation framework, ladies and gentlemen. Of key focus in the regulatory environment is the fast tracking of the enactment of the Kenya Technopolis Bill, the ICT Authority Bill, and the development of an e-commerce strategy to support the revamping of Postal Corporation of Kenya. Others will be the Film Bill, the Addressing Bill, and the Public Relations and Communications Management Bill. The entire objective is to facilitate efficient delivery of government services to Wanainchi. My ministry will also ensure that we avail universal broadband to every part of the country. To this effect, we look forward to the launching of the digital superhighway project soon, and indeed very soon. This is an ambitious but realistic and achievable project that envisages the rolling out of an additional 100,000 kilometers of the national fiber optic network across the country. This is in line with the government's commitments on the universal broadband availability over the next five years through the rollout of connectivity. To support job creation in other sectors, we are going to deploy ICT for purposes of value addition and processes in the fields of agriculture manufacturing, transport, communication, commerce, and a wide range of other spheres. Let me emphasize, ladies and gentlemen, that I especially recognize the key mandate of this ministry as a facilitator and regulator of information and communication technology for purposes of efficiency, productivity in all other sectors. ICT is the engine that is driving <laughs> the global community today. 
we cannot in this country be an exception. This ministry, therefore, must place Kenya at the cutting edge of ICT as a digital economy in this age of the fourth industrial revolution. We cannot afford to let the world leave us behind. And in, in any case, we must benchmark with global best practices. My plan is to create a mass of digital jobs for the youth through the launch of talent incubation and growth program, as well as ensuring that technological drivers, devices are available and affordable. This will kick off with the distribution of 23,000 virtual desktop devices in TVETs in Kenya, plus schools, as well as opening up the country for global jobs for the youth. We expect to work on this closely with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, specifically the functional mandate of diaspora affairs. To further create a healthy environment for public information and communication in this country, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to engage media stakeholders to establish workable relations that ensure accurate reporting while also supporting the media freedom and enabling the media industry to thrive. I'm aware, as you do, that stakeholders in the sector have issues that they would wish to streamline with government for greater sectoral efficiency. We are open to consultations and, of course, very soon we will embark on that engagement through consultative uh, and participatory processes through the relevant stakeholder fora. We will also engage other stakeholders under our mandate to identify avenues for government support to their activities. We especially need to support infrastructure for the youth to bring their ideas to the marketplace and ultimate commercialization of innovative solutions. The focus will be on a creative work environment in the fields of music, theater, graphic design, digital animation, fashion, and other crafts, among others, to facilitate job creation. We will also support the establishment of infrastructure for arts and culture, including theaters, music, auditoriums, and art galleries, and we expect to support extensive refurbishing of facilities that will help to expand spaces for artistic and cultural expression and, indeed, production. As a ministry, we are very keen to bring Silicon Savannah Dream to life. The completion of the Konza Technopolis project is therefore a priority. Konza will bring together various actors in the industry, academic institutions, and other innovators to co-invest in emerging technologies to create high-quality jobs, ladies and gentlemen. Separately, I'm aware that the government has invested in the National Data Center and established the Office of the Data Commissioner. Data protection laws need to be implemented to ensure that we know what the data the government has and where it is hosted. We also need to ensure that hosting is compliant with the existing regulations. As we embark on the assignment ahead of us, ladies and gentlemen, I plan to consolidate our team and to energize them for greater clarity of vision and delivery of the ministry's mandate to the Kenyan nation. We have an opportunity to make a transformative impact for our country. That transformative impact, ladies and gentlemen, will necessitate that depending on unfolding events from time to time, we introduce change. As and when we introduce change, it means that that change is imperative. We have to accept it, embrace it, and implement it. We can therefore leverage on ICT to create jobs and generate wealth for our people and our country. We can reduce the cost of living and raise the standards of living of our people while leveraging on ICT, ladies and gentlemen. That is why we are here. Let us remember that every day as we come to work, let me repeat emphatically, we are here to leverage on technology for purposes of job creation 
and generation of wealth. We are here to lead in making Kenya an empowered and rich digital society. That is our vision and mission. We will pursue it. It is real.